might keep a 40-year-old newspaper article. <sighs> the door won't budge. still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Looks like they're short a full set. I have a move just taken. scratches around the keyhole. Whoever broke in knew how to pick a lock. Huh. That's a lot of warning shots. Yeah. You like what you see, buddy? What's that? I'll find out why the old ape wants you so bad. Squint, run! Oh, okay. I. Easiest gig in this district. You grab the mirror. I'm. Who are you? What in K's name are you doing in my house? Okay, let's see what we have here. Easiest gig in this district. Who are you? What in K's name are you? Squint, run! Oh, oh K, I, I've killed him. Two men broke in to steal a mirror. One of them, Squint, cracked the safe. But Glover discovered him and shot him. Second one killed Glover. Eyes still wide open. Guess he didn't see the killing blow coming. Looks like they're short a full set. One of the mirrors was taken.
officer. Well, look who finally decided to show up. If it ain't Charles Reed, the genius that cracked the case of Albert Throgmorton, Captain Caleb Lyons at your service. What can we simpletons do to assist you, Mr. Holmes? Look, all I want is access to your records during my investigations. Otherwise, I'll keep out of your way. Oh, that's all you want, is it? Was making us look like idiots in front of Mr. Throgmorton not enough for you? Look, I'm sorry. That wasn't my intent. Well, that's what you did. A newcomer must know his place. Let me be frank. You ain't welcome. You slip up, don't cross a T, or dot an I, and I'll treat you like every other criminal in here, newcomer. Hey, easy, Officer Lyons. I don't want any trouble. Well, good. That's a start. You can use the archive, but only because you have Mr. Throgmorton as your patron. Keep that in mind, Reed. I'm happy to say I've never been hungry enough to consider eating whatever this is. Rest in peace. Rest in peace.
Looks like Squint was having a bad day. Survived getting shot just to be stabbed to death. But who did it? At long last, I'll fix what that old ape lover Francis did to you. away from the... Oh, thank the gods. I thought you were another monster. Sidney Stokes, I presume. Aye, oh, yeah, aye, that's the right, right. Do I, do I know you? Don't think so. I'm here about Herbert Glover. I believe you know him. Or, should I say, knew him. Ah, uh, okay. Nice trick with the wall. How'd you manage it? It wasn't me. She put the wall there with some kind of hocus pocus. You said she put the wall here. Who is she? She, she, she's our employer. I don't know her name or anything. She, she promised us a good payout for a simple job, and I fell for it like a chump. What did she hire you to do? Uh, the job seemed simple enough. Go to the collector's house, grab some fancy mirror, and then hoof it out of there. So where's this fancy mirror now? She took it. When me and Phil met her with the goods, they, they got into a big blowout and she shifted him. Okay, what am I to do now? Phil was the idea guy. I, I was... I'm just a sap. Come on, paint me a picture. What did this woman look like? She was... Tall and thin, very thin, just skin and bones. Mean like a rattlesnake. That's all I can remember. I, I didn't look too close at her. Were you hired to kill the collector too? Or was that just for laughs? I, I, I swear to K, I, it wasn't part of the plan. It was an accident. The guy started shooting at us and I panicked. You panicked? Really? That's your excuse. Oh, please, as Kay is my witness, I didn't mean to kill anyone. I'll give you everything I have. Just, just let me walk. Well, you've had quite a night. Break-in, theft, and manslaughter. I'm gonna have to report this. Oh, please, I, I'll, I'll get the char for this. You should have thought of that before you killed a man. I've looked into your delicate matter. Excellent. Don't spare me any details. 
Glover's dead. He was killed by a man named Sidney Stokes, who happened to be robbing his place. He wasn't working alone. He had a partner, Phil O'Connell. Didn't end up much better. All over uh, some kind of mirror, apparently. Truck. Where is a mirror now? Their employer has it. Uh, some mystery woman. I didn't get her name, but she obviously wasn't fooling around. I see. So, my enigmatic competitor has finally shown her hand. And the thieves are both dead, you say? Sidney Stokes managed to make it out in one piece. Now, if I had to guess, he's probably holed up at his home. Want the address? I would welcome it. I'll take pleasure in, uh, educating him on some, uh, shall we say, essential truths. It wouldn't have killed you to let me know you were going after the mirror from the start. As I said, this is a very delicate matter. I wasn't confident I could trust you with such sensitive information until now. All right, I've held up my end of the bargain. Now, it's your turn. Of course, Mr. Reed. Here's your payment. Now that you know everything, would you accept the second part of the job? Let me guess. You want me to track down the mirror? Yes. And the one who so rudely snatched it from my grasp. I'm on it. Only got one lead, though. Our culprit had a bone to pick with someone named Francis. Mean anything to you? Ah, yes. That is without doubt my father. Francis Throgmorton. K rest his soul. What's he got to do with this? I found mention of the mirror in his records. That's what led me to take interest. Your father was a prominent man. I'm sure he had enemies. Anyone come to mind? None would outlive him. You mentioned your father left records. Mind if I take a gander at them? The prospect of you rifling through my father's possessions does not fill me with joy, Mr. Reed. But if that's what you need, so be it. Take this key. Yeah, the mortician has touched him up well. Seems an ambitious expedition. Huh? Like father, like son. Huh, curious craftsmanship. These must be worth a fortune. I'm looking sharp. But I guess that's the point. Eighteen ninety one must have been a busy year for Francis. I had some questions about Bethany. I beg your pardon? I don't believe I know anyone of that name. Well, it came up during the investigation. See, your father divorced, and his ex-wife's name was Bethany. Say no more. It is beyond my earliest memories. But, even if it weren't, my father's business is his own. I shall not engage in gossip. 
Your father led an expedition back in 1891. Do you know anything about it? I'm not the best person to ask, I'm afraid. I was a babe in arms back then, and my father never made his findings public. It is a great shame, of course. His work would have turned the science of evolution on its head. Yeah, I can see that. Have a good day. for Bethany Throgmorton. You got any patients by that name? We'd know if we had a Throgmorton. Although, we do have a Bethany. Or rather, we did. Sh she's missing, and not on one of her usual walks. Her usual walks? You let patients leave the building? Oh, Bethany was harmless, and she always came back. This time, well... I've never known her to be like that. You mean she broke out? Yes. Knocked an orderly out cold. She was out the door in a moment. It took us all by surprise. She's usually harmless. Any idea where she went? No. She had been odd recently, though. Uh, muttering to herself and... She drew this strange picture on her bedroom wall. That's interesting. Can I take a look at her room? I suppose it couldn't hurt. She had a separate room downstairs. Here's the key, but do watch out for broken glass. Bye. See it? Haven't you seen the beast? There's enough dope left in here to knock out a horse. The blood's almost dry. At seven years each, that's a lot of bad luck. I'm glad it's not mine. I will find it, baby boy. I promise. Just tell me more. Huh. Was this taken at gunpoint? Someone had a field day to facing these. Thank you. 
Stop right there. You no longer have any power over me. I have abandoned Glassworks. In Salvation Harbor. I can't believe it. The answers have been there since last century. Time to piece the Randall Glassworks. You know the Stop right there. Bethany escaped the asylum after getting the mirror from Glover. The next stop looks to be a factory called Randall Glassworks. Seems that Bethany had a thing for mirrors. You know anything about that? Oh, yes. Poor soul. She was convinced there was a boy called Hammond living in her mirrors. She talked to him every day. I see. Bye. He's mad. Tame. He's completely mad.
Those bags stink worse than a barrel of rotten fish. Or... Fisk. Whatever. Putrid slime is everywhere. I'll take a sample for Dr. Grant to examine. before the neighbors see us. Are those the last ones? I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Okay, let's see what we have here. Quick, 
bring them in before the neighbors see it. I did everything you asked, yeah? So when will my initiation begin? Members of a cult were disposing of bodies in the basement of the shop. The corpses merged together to form a huge monstrosity. What's your problem? 